Hi, welcome to Grandma's German Kitchen. Let me ask you a question. Do you like to drink buttermilk? Probably not. If I go in a grocery store to the dairy section, I see a big area with regular milk, 2%, 1%, not fat milk, but the buttermilk section is tiny, tiny, tiny. That means no demand. That means nobody drinks buttermilk. Or maybe, oh, only a small amount of people drink buttermilk. It's supposed to be healthy. Anyway, if you need buttermilk for a recipe here, my recipe, for instance, says two cups of buttermilk. But what I bought is four cups of buttermilk. What do I do with the rest? Should I drink it? <laughs> no way. Uh, maybe I freeze it. Okay, I will show you two different ways how to freeze the buttermilk. So first we take a regular freezer bag and write down how much buttermilk we pour in. In this case two cups buttermilk and also I put the date up. So then we put the buttermilk in this freezer bag and then we making sure there's no air on it. So we lay it on a flat surface and the opening of the bag uh, a little bit higher you can see I put it right on the edge of my cutting board so no buttermilk runs out right away. So I take all the air out closing the bag and then I put it in the freezer. The other method is you take a freezer bag where you make ice cubes with like an ice cube freezer bag and put a fennel on, on it and pour the buttermilk what you have left over right in. If you have only a small amount or you buy the buttermilk, doesn't matter. Those ice cube bags you can buy on Amazon. I have a shortcut in my description box of this video. So if you go through my shortcut, uh, you will support my channel. Thank you for that. And as you can see here, we pure all the buttermilk in and then be closing that up and put right in the freezer. Each cube is equal to 1.8 teaspoon. So if your recipe says one tablespoon, you use two ice cubes. Thank you for watching and you're still here. Don't forget to give me a like. Have a great day. Bye bye.